Good evening, class. How are you? Good evening, teacher. Good evening. I'm fine, thank you. That's great to know. <laughs> well, welcome to your English class. This is your class number 10. I'm gonna share the, the presentation. In a moment, you will see. This is the class number 10, and it's, it, today is Thursday, May 4th, 2023. The topic is the seasons, present progressive, and who. Okay, the seasons, present continuous, or present progressive, and the use of who's in questions. So we have three objectives. I need three volunteers to read objective number one, objective number two, and objective number three. So volunteer, the first volunteer is Miriam Darlene. The number two is Lexon Autopic. In this class, you will learn how to use possessive in order to describe the launching of things. Thank you so much, Darlene. Okay, who is going to read the second objective? Quien lee el segundo? Brisa y Dayerisa. Y el tercero, Karen. Okay. In this class, you will become familiar with the weather systems. Mm -hmm. Oops, sorry. And Karen Tatiana. By the end of this class, you will be able to form the statements using the present continuous. Exactly. By the end of this class, you will be able to form statements using the present continuous. Very good people. So we have possessive, the weather seasons, and the present continuous. We're going to start with the vocabulary of this class, the four seasons of the year. There are some countries that have the four seasons. Some countries have the four seasons, the spring, summer, fall, and winter. But what about El Salvador, our country? How many seasons we have? How many seasons do we have in El Salvador? Do we have four seasons or only two? Que calladito. Only two. Only two, exactly. Only two seasons. Which one? The spring? Or summer? Summer. Summer. Fall or winter? Winter. Exactly. <laughs> we have summer and winter in El Salvador. I'm going to read for you uh, the description of the four pictures. We have X spring in Brazil. It's spring in Brazil, so it's warm and it's very sunny. It's summer in Korea. It's raining, it's hot and humid. It's fall in the U.S. It's, um, excuse me, it's cool and it's cloudy and windy. It's winter in Russia. It's snowing and it's very cold. Okay, so the seasons, we have, you can see here some words to describe the weather, to describe the weather, para eh, describir el clima. In the next slide, you can see the four seasons, winter, spring, summer, and autumn. Autumn is another name for the fall, para la estación de fall, otoño. 
So you can say often or you can say fall. And what are some typical vocabulary associated, associated with each season? For example, we have in winter, cold days, snow, rain, umbrella, gloves, scarf, skin, and hot drink. With the spring, we have warm days, flowers, butterflies, Hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. 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 Hello, teacher. Okay. I was, yeah, thank you. <laughs> so, I don't know, there, I had a problem with the connection. Okay, so I was telling you that for spring, for example, we have some vocabulary. Warm days, flowers, butterflies, nest, needles, nest, rainbows, you can do gardening, allergies, and baby animals. That is the season of these things. During the summer, we have hot days. You can go to the beach. You can have vacation. You can go camping. You can eat ice cream. You can wear some glasses. You can you put on some screen and you go to the swimming pool. And during autumn or fall, we have cool days. Leaves fall, wind, harvest, rake, acorns, clouds, and pumpkins. So right now, we are going to do an activity. In this activity, in the chat, you are going to write sentences using this vocabulary. For example, try to use one word for each season. Vale, vamos a escribir una oración. Usando una de estas palabras de cada uno de los cuadritos que está aquí. Traten de usar quizás una palabra que no conozcan para que así aprendan esa nueva palabra en clase. Por ejemplo, I'm going to use skin. Skin is a sport that you can practice in the snow. So I will write here in the chat my examples. I like, I like a skin in the mountains. I like skiing in the mountains during the winter. Okay. Now, you are going to write a sentence using one word for each season, ¿ok? Ok, y en lo que escriben, ese, en lo que hacen ese ejercicio, voy a pasar la lista. I'm going to change the attendance. So please be ready to say, I am here, teacher. I am present, ¿ok? So, let's write the sentences. Si entendemos, ¿verdad? Lo que vamos a hacer. Okay. <clears throat> okay, the first person in the list is Adriana Noemi Quintanilla Chavez. Present teacher. Thank you, Adriana. Uh, Briseida Yarisa Melgar. Present. David Moises Ventura. Present. Dolores Elizabeth López. Present. Thank you, Elizabeth. Edith Carolina Rivera. Present. Thank you, Edith. Edwin René Solís. Present teacher. Okay, Edwin, you're welcome. Elisa María García. Present. Thank you, Elisa. 
Erika Carranza. I am present teacher. Nice. Stephanie Ferrer. Present. Thank you, Stephanie. Fátima Santana Ponce Valladares. Jonathan Vicente Escobar. Jonathan is not present today. That's weird. Jose Alfredo Cruz. Present teacher. Thank you, Jose. Karen Tatiana Hernández. Que está. Present teacher. Catherine Vanessa Blanco, Umaña. Present. Linda Hazel Fermán. I am present teacher. Linda. Uh, what about Lizal Marisol Lopez? Present teacher. Okay, thank you, Lizal. Uh, Marilyn Yesenia Ortiz. Marilyn Yesenia. Present teacher. Okay, Marilyn. Maria Vilma Cortez Rivas. I am present teacher. Thank you, Maria Vilma. Marlon Adonai Moran. Marlon Adonai. Melanie Fabiola Cuellas. Not present. Michelle Abigail Nieto. Michelle Abigail Nieto. Miriam Darlene Escobar. I am here, teacher. Miriam Rosibel Esmeralda Laine. Present. Ok, thank you, Rosibel. <laughs> ok, very nice, guys. Good. A ver, ¿qué han escrito en el chat? No veo yo, o las oraciones, the sentences. Puede ser una oración sencilla como Butterflies are beautiful. Vamos a ver la que ya pusieron. Aquí pusieron ya una. She wears a scarf in winter. Excellent. I like to eat ice cream during the summer. Perfect. My mother likes school days. So do I. Great. Hello. Hello. Can you hear me? Hola, hola. ¿Sí me escuchan? Hola, sí. Sí, okay. Sí, sí, sí. I'm sorry. I'm having problems with the internet connection, but I already changed uh, the inter the Wi-Fi. <laughs> Okay, so you were working on the sentences. Let's see, we have more. We have, she likes school days in winter. I like summer days. In the spring, there are many flowers. On the beach, we use sunscreen, that's true. I like the winter, okay. Nice, very nice, very nice. I like that you are using the vocabulary. I am wearing gloves in cold days. I like wearing jackets in the winter. Yes, it's the time in which you can wear jackets. Maria Vilma sería así. I am wearing, oh, solo sería I wear, 
I wear gloves during cold days. Good. I see one person connected. Marlon Adonai. Hello, welcome to the class. Hello, Marlon. Can you say present? Present, teacher. <laughs> Thank you, Marlon. Okay. So in this moment, Marlon, we are um, learning vocabulary uh, for the season. Now, I'm going to share with you guys some words that or expressions that we can use to express the weather. Cuando le preguntamos a alguien, ¿y cómo está el clima hoy? What's the weather like today? Esa es la pregunta que hacemos. What's the weather like today? What's the weather like today? Very hot. Exactly. And we can say, we can answer. It's hot or it's very hot. We can say it's warm. Or we can say it's sunny, está soleado. Or we can say it's cloudy. Or it's, um, it's rainy. Está lluvioso, it's rainy. Or we can say it's cold, está muy frío. Or it's cool. Or it's, um, let's see, foggy, brumoso, así como neblinoso. It's foggy. So those are the ways in which we can describe the weather. Today is hot or today is warm. Hot es muy, muy caliente. Hot, warm es así como calientito, pero no exagerado. It's sunny, soleado. It's cloudy, nublado. It's rainy, es lluvioso. It's cold, muy frío. That you need, you need a, a sweater. You need to wear a sweater because it's very cold. It's cool, for example, when you go to a paneca, a taco, or Plaza de Renderos, the weather is cool, right? It's like very nice, it's fresco. It's foggy, for example, in the morning sometimes, you don't see anything because it's foggy. So please, you can take notes, right, on this vocabulary, because it's very important. Another one is, for example, it's windy, like in October, que está eh, haciendo viento. It's windy. Hay vientecito. It's windy. Excellent, Edwin. Edwin likes wearing sunglasses and shorts in the summer. My sister likes to travel to the mountains. Okay. Nice, very nice. Thank you for your participation in this activity. Okay. Ya tomaron nota? Did you take notes on the vocabulary? Ya tomaron nota del vocabulario? Can I go to the next? Es la <laughs> okay. No, también se las puedo enviar acá. On WhatsApp. Yes, Edwin. Mm, consulta, teacher. Este, ¿Cuál es la traducción de la pregunta? What is the word like today? What's the weather like today? ¿Qué cree usted que dice? Mm, tal vez cómo está el día hoy, no sé. El ah, weather, weather, no sé qué significa. The weather is el clima. What's the weather like today? Ah, ok. Gracias. ¿Cómo está el clima hoy? Okay. Uh -huh. yeah, y el right like, there. el like... Sí, ¿cómo? En este caso, la palabra like puede ser como verbo, significa me gusta, ¿verdad? Gustar. Pero también, okay. también es una palabra 
que significa cómo, para dar ejemplos. Por ejemplo, se puede decir, mm, eh, I know, eh, she eats a lot of vegetables like eh, tomatoes, cucumbers, eh, lettuce, and, and potatoes, carrots, etc. Ok, gracias. La palabra like puede significar cómo. Significa cómo. ¿Cómo? What's the weather like today? ¿Cómo está el clima hoy? Como la conversación que hicieron en una de las clases de la semana pasada que decía, what's he like? ¿Cómo es él? What's he like? ¿Ok? Good, good. A ver, about the words that are here, can you tell me what is the meaning of win? What is the meaning of win? Invierno. Win, winter es invierno. ¿En win? Viento. Yes. Okay, what is the, the meaning of rainbows? Oh, that's a beautiful rainbow. After the rain, you can see the rainbow. Different colors, seven colors. Arcoiris? Yes. Okay, what is the meaning of a uh, rake? Rake. For example, in your garden, you have a lot of trees. You need a rake to uh, clean the garden <laughs> of all the leaves. A rake. Rastrillo. Rastrillo. That's a break. Okay, what is the meaning of um, nest? Nest. Nest. Needles. Needles. Yes. Okay, so you have here, for example, in winter, we have cold days, we have snow, we have rain, we need to use an umbrella. We wear gloves, a scarf, we can go skiing and we drink, have drinks. For example, which have drinks do you like to drink when it's cold in winter? Elisa? Perdón, teacher. Eh, ¿Qué significa fugi? Fugi, no sé si, si se pronuncia. Fugi, neblinoso. Fugi. Ah, ok. Gracias. Solamente. Okay. Okay, and half drinks, half drinks, which are your favorite half drinks? When it's the winter, I like drinking chocolate, hot chocolate. Or hot tea or coffee, right? During the winter. Do you like hot drinks? Bebidas calientes, hot drinks. Do you like hot drinks? Yes, no. Yes. yes, okay. Yes. Okay, so here you have a lot of vocabulary that you can use. Now, guys, uh, let's go to the next. It's a conversation. It's very cold. Do you remember Pat and Julie? Hey, they had a discussion because, because of the clothes, right? The light blue clothes. Today, we have another conversation. It says, oh, no, what's the matter? It's a snow wind and it's very cold. Are you wearing your gloves? No, they are at home. Well, you're wearing your coat, but my coat isn't warm and I'm not wearing boots. Okay, let's take a taxi. Thanks, Yuli. Okay. In this conversation, as you can see, uh, we, there are some <clears throat> expressions. For example, what's the matter? What's the matter means? What's the problem? We have another question. Are you wearing your gloves? Are you wearing your gloves? ¿Qué significa esta pregunta? What does this question mean? 
Está usando su pues, guante. Exactly. Lleva sus guantes. No, they are home where you're wearing your coat. And another one. I'm not wearing boots. ¿Qué significa? No, no estoy usando botas. No estoy usando botas. Exactly. Okay. So, is this happening eh, in the past, in the moment, or in the future? This conversation is in the past, in the moment, in the present, or in the future? Moment. Present. Moment. Exactly, in the present. So they are using the present continuous. El presente progresivo o el presente continuo. Something that is happening in the moment. Algo que pasa en el momento. In the moment, right now. Right now, I am speaking English. Right now, I am talking to my students. Right now, you are looking at me. You are paying attention to me. <laughs> Okay, something that is happening in this moment. <clears throat> and what is happening in this conversation? What is happening with the weather? What is happening with the weather? It's snowing and it's very cold. Exactly, it's snowing, está nevando, está nevando, and it's very cold. So, um, uh, taking this as example, vaya, vamos a aprender, <coughs> sorry, uh, the present continuous. Okay, we're going to start with this. What are they wearing? We have three famous people. Who is she? Who is she? Shakira. Shakira. Who is he? Who is he? I don't know. Don't have any idea? No. No. <laughs> no. 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 No idea. Maluma. <laughs> I think he's Maluma. <laughs> okay, he is Maluma. Yes. And who is she? She's Jennifer Lopez. She's Jennifer Lopez. Okay, so right now you are going to tell me. Oh, I'm going to ask you questions. Is Shakira wearing a dress? No. No dress. No. I'm wearing a dress. Mmm, vaya. No, Is Shakira. Wearing a dress? No, no she's coma. not. She is not. not. Exactly, it's not or is, right? Is Shakira wearing a dress? No, she isn't. Is she wearing boots? Yes. She's yes, yes, she is. This is similar to one exercise in the platform. Okay, what about Maluma? Maluma, right? Yeah. Is he wearing a tie? Yes, yes, he is. He is. yes, he is. Okay, is he wearing a blue watch? No. 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 
No, coma. He is. Right? No, he is. And is he wearing a blue watch? No, he is. Right? Mm -hmm. He is wearing a. What color is it? Mm -hmm. Black. Watch. What color is the watch? It's white. It's gray. White. Exactly. It's oh. white. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> Jay, low. Okay. Is Jay low? Is Jay low wearing jeans? No, she's not. No, she's not. She's not. She's not. Is she wearing a green dress? No, she's not. No, she isn't. Exactly. No, 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 she isn't. Okay. <clears throat> Very nice. So, what is Maluma wearing then? Quien me describe? What is Maluma wearing? He's wearing a suit. Yes. What color is the suit? Is black. Yes. Okay. And. What else is he wearing? Yeah. He is wearing Yes, Alicia. <laughs> okay. Yo creo que no son son glasses, son glasses, solo glasses. He is wearing ah. glasses. Hay unos lentes que con el sol se vuelven un poquito oscuros. Pero son gl glasses, normal glasses. Los son glasses, son negritos. Como estos, que les voy a enseñar. The sunglasses, you know the sunglasses. The sunglasses are different. Look, my matrix. Right. These are the sunglasses. Oh, very very close. <laughs> okay. So, guys. And then uh, he's wearing a white, a white shirt, a black tie, glasses, a vest, un chaleco vest, and a black suit and a white watch. Okay, what is Shakira wearing? Who's sleeping in the class? <laughs> Los que tienen la cámara apagada están dormidos. José Alfredo. José Alfredo Cruz. What is Shakira wearing? She, she's wearing jacket. Okay, she's wearing a black jacket. Is color black. Uh, Solo diga el color antes, antes del, de la ropa. She is wearing a black jacket. She is wearing. A jeans. Black. No. Black jeans. Black jeans. Black jeans. Black jeans. Black jeans. Uh -huh. um, is black boots. Black blue, black boots, and and shirt, blouse. In a blouse, and in a golden blouse. Es, es así como blouse. brillante y, y como color oro. <laughs> a golden blouse. Okay, thank you, Jose Cruz. <clears throat> okay, good. So this was just a practice. Esto es lo que ellos están usando. They are wearing in this moment. In this moment. Now, guys. Uh, vamos a hacer un pequeño ejercicio. Necesito que... No sé si algunos pueden escribir en la pantalla. 
pueden intentar. Nunca han intentado poder escribir en la pantalla. Y si no, ya sé qué voy a hacer. Permítanme. <coughs> Que... Usando la pizarra, teacher. Sí, aquí ahorita la pizarra. La ven. Ahí está. Eh... Pero ocupen la opción de texto. Escri texto, porque está dibujar. Pero busquen la, la sección que dice texto, la opción de texto. Ya la vieron. No sé si me dice aparece. que no se puede abrir. Ay, Durante sí. el uso compartido es. Ay, vaya, espérenme, quiero ver si puedo otra vez. Ok, en now. Ok, lo que necesito es que escriban todos los verbos de los que sepan en inglés. All the verbs you know in English. Y si no, díganmelo, yo lo voy escribiendo. All the verbs in English. Pero lo, es como que están dibujando, no le sale, no le sale así como de, de texto, la opción de texto. No, solo lápiz, flecha, color, borrar y guardar. Ah, ok. No, la opción de texto. Ok, ok, so you can tell me guys, eh, de... oh, Dolores ya pudo, eh, play. Quizás está desde computadora. Eat. Ah, Rosibel. Row eat. Ok, play, eat, other, other verbs. Dance. Dance, ok, dance, run, read, other verbs, shop, shop, sleep, yes, eat, um, it's important, eat, Ro room, oh, room, run, run, a ver, I know, dry, Drive, yes. Drink. Okay, drink. Yes. Cook. Call. Llamar. Call. Call. No, cook, cocinar. Cook. Cook. Mm -hmm. Okay. What else? Lo que están haciendo ahorita. Estudio. Right. Right. Exactly. Work. Work. Listen. Listen. Go. Go. Car. Pat, eh, bañar. Talk. Or take a shower. Uh -huh. What others? Brush. Brush, exactly. Drink. Very, very, very nice. We have a lot of, lot of, lot of verbs, right? Work. Excuse me? Ya está, work, ya está. Work, yes. 
Very nice. Thank you. Thank you guys for sharing the Okay, all the verbs. Now, ¿qué vamos a hacer hoy? Bueno, con estos, si se fijan, estos verbos están ahorita, se le llama eh, base form. Están en su forma base, base form. <clears throat> Ahora, ¿qué vamos a hacer? Vamos a convertirlos en present progressive. Present progressive. Lo vamos a hacer así. Like in Spanish, in our... Cuando, este, cuando decimos lo que estamos haciendo, ¿cómo terminan los verbos? Ando. Ando, endo, right? Mm -hmm. Ok, estudiando, comiendo, Do. tomando, bailando. Do. Ok, so that what happens with this verb. So, what do we do? We add ing study study play play play, play. play. ok sleep sleep sleeping sleeping call calling calling calling, calling. Uh, drink. 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 Eat. Drinking. Eating. 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 Uh, work. Eating. Work. Working. 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 Go. Going. 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 Listen. 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 Okay. Good. Very nice. So we just add. I -N -G, Shop, shopping. ING. ING. A la mayoría de los verbos le agregamos ING. Ahora, ¿qué pasa? This is the second rule. ¿Qué pasa si el verbo termina en E? Agregamos una E. ¿Le quita? Le agrego una E. Le quito la E. Uh -huh. Y le pongo una T más ING. No, no le pongo. Solo la, la E se convertiría en I. IMG. Exactly. Ahora que ya le quité la oh. I, le voy a agregar el ING, right? Sí. Ay, espérame, que ya no me dio. Se iría así: writing, eh, dancing, dancing. Eh, what is the other? ¿Qué vimos aquí? Dreaming. Driving. Driving. Ajá, no sé qué se hizo, pero no lo veo. Ay, 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 ok. Driving, driving. Good. Driving. Ahora bien, esta es the second rule. Now, there is another rule. That is, for example, we have the verb run and shop. How many? Oh, ¿Cuántas okay. sílabas tiene run and shop? How many syllables? Just one. Just one. And this syllable is consonant, vowel, and consonant sound. <laughs> Igual es said shop. Consonant. Excuse <laughs> me. Consonant, vowel, consonant. Okay? So, what is the rule? I double the last consonant. And at ing. Sería run. Running. Shop. Shopping. 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 Y hay otras, por ejemplo, cut. Cutting. Put. Poner put. Put in. Right? Put in. Mm -hmm. So over here we see the three important <laughs> for the spelling of the ING. Ahora, los verbos ya están así. Pero para que funcione bien, ¿qué más hace falta? Bueno, la estructura es esta. ¿Se acuerdan siempre el subject? ¿Cuál es el subject? I, you, they. Ajá. And then, we have the verb to be. 
I am, you are, he. And then we have the verb in the ing form. And finally, the complement. Ahora vamos a hacer una oración como ejemplo. Vamos a ver, the subject is you. Entonces, el subject is you, el verbo to be es? Are. 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 You are. Y vamos a ver el verbo en ing form. Studying. Okay, <laughs> studying. You I'm are studying. studying right now. You are studying the present continuous right now. Right now significa en este momento o ahora. Sí, ahorita mismo. Okay. Okay. Cuando usamos el presente continuo, normalmente utilizamos esas expresiones. Eh, right now. In this moment. Now. Okay. Right now, in this moment, now, those are the words that we usually use in the present continuous. Okay, good. Do you have any questions about this? Do you have any questions? No? Okay. So, don't worry, don't worry. <laughs> okay, in this slide, you can see more examples, right? We have subject, verb to be, the verb in ing, and complement. A ver, ¿quién me lee los ejemplos? Who can read the example? I'm teaching an online class. Uh -huh. You're studying and learning about the present continuous. My husband is working in this moment. My mom is cooking the lunch. He is not training right now. We are using a computer or cell phone to have the class. You are playing attention to the teacher. The children are studying in the school. Yes, thank you, Did. Yes, so this is happening these are examples of things that are happening in the moment, right? I'm teaching an online class. You are studying and learning. My husband is working. My mom is cooking. It is not rainy. You're using a computer or cell phone to have the class. You're paying attention to me, right? Are you paying attention to me? Yes, teacher. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> or are you sleeping? No. No. Are you watching TV? No. No. Are you eating? Ah, yes. <laughs> eating. <laughs> okay. The children are studying in the school. Así ya los vi que por ratito se meten un bocadito. But that's okay. There's no problem. Okay. <laughs> that is the 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 good thing about having virtual classes. <laughs> Okay, very nice. So here we have some spelling rules. Aquí están las reglas que ya se las dije, pero aquí están como más en escrita. Okay. Ahora, vamos a hacer este ejercicio. Write the ing form of these verbs. Tal vez en el chat me los pueden poner y yo lo voy poniendo aquí. Come. Come. En esta, I believe in me, right? Come, um, coming, do, doing, doing, drink, drinking, drive, driving, driving, eat, eating, fall, falling, get. Getting. Getting. Okay, ¿qué regla voy a aplicar con getting? Doble T. Doble T. Mm -hmm. Give. 
Que Ay, bien. I drop the E, the second rule, drop E and add mm -hmm. ING. Go. Going. 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 Have. Having. Having. Exactly. Prefer. En esa fíjense que voy a doblar la R. Pero es otra regla que ya la van a por allí. Es por el sound. Preferring. Preferring. Re make. Making. Making. Read. Reading. Reading. And by. 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 Bye. Ok, sell. Selling. Selling. Sing. Oh. Singing. Singing. Singing, yes. Sit. Sitting. Sitting. Sitting with double. T. 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 Double T. Sleep. Sleeping. 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 Speak. Speaking. speaking. Are you speaking English? Yes, yes. yes. yes you are. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Swim. Can no. I swim. Swimming. swimming. No. Double M. Double M. Double M. Mm. Take. Taking. Taking. Think. Thinking. 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 Mm -hmm. Where. Miren, en esta es la última regla que está aquí. Verse and in IE. Change the IE to Y and add ING. En esta vamos a cambiar entonces el IE por Y. Sería... T Y I N G tying es atar tying ah. okay tying tying so le agrego I N G riding riding and say tying tying solo tengan cuidado con el micrófono porque ahí escuchamos otras cosas para no interrumpir okay good so we have the here. Zero. Excuse me? Say the zero, el último. Say, say, yes. Okay, so here are the rules. And wow, time runs fast. It's 8.55. Okay, in the next slide, you will see the rules. But yo creo que ya, ya con lo que vimos y practicamos, creo que ya estamos ahí con las rules. Y ahora, para terminar, to finish the class, we have here a picture. In this picture, you can see what the different people are doing. For example, you look at the picture. This is George. What is George doing? George is... Reading a newspaper? Exactly. George is reading a newspaper, the newspaper. Frank. Frank watching the Frank. What is is watching? No olviden el verbo to be. No olviden el verbo to be. Frank is watching. watching. Judy is eating pizza. pizza. Exactly. Sue and Liz are are playing. Are playing. Yes. Are exactly. Rita. 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 
Ah, teacher, how do you say peinarse en inglés? How do you say peinarse? Is brushing. Okay, is brushing or combing her hair? Brushing or combing her hair? Okay, it's brushing is peinarse, combing peinarse. Okay, Alison. Alison is. Listening music. music is listening to the radio. To the radio. To the radio. Barbara. Barbara is working. Is writing. Writing a letter. Writing. A letter. Is writing a letter. Caroline. Aquí está el complemento Caroline. que les puede ayudar. Caroline is. Watch. Mm -hmm. Is sitting. Sitting by the table. Mm -hmm. And is drawing. Mm -hmm. Or she has paint. It's in a painting. Picture. She's painting. Anna is painting a picture. Mm -hmm. Enric. Is getting? Is getting, yes. Is getting into the room. Está llegando al cuarto. Is getting into the room. Wow, guys. Great job. Wow, great use of the present continuous. Is this easy or difficult? Oh. Easy or difficult? More or more. More or less? More yes. or less. Ay, no les creo, vaya. Y la última actividad va a ser que en el chat me digan <clears throat> What is your family doing in this moment? What is your family doing in this moment? For example, my husband is sleeping. <laughs> my husband is sleeping. My cat is sleeping too. And I am working. Mm -hmm. What is your family doing in this moment? My mom is watching TV. Oh, your sister is studying. Okay. My mom is watching TV. My brother is sleeping. <laughs> okay. Nice. My mom is eating. My mom is eating. Marlon. My sister is sleeping. <laughs> my husband and my baby are watching the tablet. Okay. My parents are watching the news. Good. My husband is Eating. No se le olvide el verbo to be. Elisa María. <laughs> ok, great. Very nice. Vamos a ver qué otro. My wife is watching the cell phone right now. My sister is typing. Or texting. Typing es escribir en la computadora o en el teléfono. Pero si es como mandar mensajes, texting, texting. My baby is watching TV. Ok, my father is watching TV. <laughs> Interesting. Ok, very nice. So, class. Oh, your father is listening to music. My son is sleeping. Oh, my brother are playing, my brothers are playing soccer. <laughs> very nice. Excelente. Ya veo que sí están usando muy bien. Veo que sí 
sí se pudo comprender. Ah, my little brother David is doing his homework. Is doing. My little brother is doing his homework. Okay. Excellent. Well, class, this is it's the time. It's the time to go. Do you have any questions about the class or about the platform? No, it's okay. Great. Okay, so in this case, I will see you tomorrow at the same time with the same students, the same teacher in the same channel, okay? See you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good night. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night. Good night.